and fly to scrub my head from him sin and me tonight hey guys welcome back with me in another youtube video so today i'm gonna be showing you guys some of the really good places in half moon bay so if you ever go to half moon bay or you're going i hope i can help you some of the places i'm gonna be sharing with you guys are kind of outside half moon bay but it's close Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. Alright guys, so right here we have the Pigeon Point Lighthouse. The view is amazing, as you guys can see on the video. It is a little bit outside of Half Moon Bay, but it's closed. Anyways, this lighthouse was built in 1871. It is the tallest lighthouse on the west coast of California. And if you're into art, you can paint this lighthouse. I bet it will be amazing. I'm also planning to do the same thing. Anyways guys, since we went over the lighthouse already, why don't I recommend you guys some new places near the lighthouse? This next place I recommend is not just a single place. Let me tell you exactly what I'm talking about. So, what I mean to what I just said is just go straight to the Pascadero Road and the view there is very amazing. Also, there are a lot of beautiful beaches. There are like the Bean Hollow Beach, Pascadero Point Beach, Pomponio State Beach and a lot more So next we have the Pillar Point Harbor or you can just call it Harbor for short At this harbor you can go to the beach buy food buy fish or you can go shopping inside the stores There are also a lot of good restaurants in here like Barbara Fish Trap Barbara Fish Trap is one of my favorite restaurants and their fish and chips are the best There is also Catch Joanne's and Sam's Chowder House and if you're also looking for a hotel close to the beach, restaurant, shopping place, then you can go to the one near Harbor, named Oshano Hotel. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and turn the post notification bell to get updated every time I post a new video. Alright guys, so up next, we have the Poplar Beach. Poplar Beach is one of the best beach in half one day and if you guys have dogs then you can bring them here because this is a dog friendly beach and the view is so amazing as you guys can see on the video alright guys so next we have the surfers beach it is actually one of my favorite beaches because it allows dogs to go on the beach you can also watch the beautiful sunset here and get your feet wet on the water Alright guys, so up next, we have the Devil Slide. Devil Slide is one of my favorite places because of the view. It's so stunning and walking there makes you very calm because it's very quiet and you can hear the waves. Devil Slide got its name from the rocky edges prone to accident. Alright, so this next place is probably the best place to hike. You can take your dogs because dogs are also allowed on this mountain, the Montera Mountain. It is one of my favorite hiking places because you can see the beautiful view and the road on the way to Devil Slides. And on the top of the mountain, let me tell you, it's beautiful. I also did a video about this, so if you still haven't watched that, please watch it after. I promise you'll enjoy it. Alright guys, so this next place I'm gonna be showing you is called the Coastal Trail. It is 11 and a half miles long, but you can stop walking whenever you feel like you're tired. It is also one of the best places to take a walk and just relax because you can see the beautiful flowers like puppies and more. And hear the waves crashing to the shore. Alright guys, so this next place is called Prisma Creek Redwood Preserve. The redwoods in there are very pretty and that's not the only thing. There's also the creek. You can put your hands in there and just feel the cold water. And if you love being in nature, then you'll definitely love this one. So this next place is called Fitzgerald Marine Reserve. It has a staircase on the way to the beach, but sadly because of the virus, that staircase is closed. But the good news is the beautiful forest is still open and you can take a walk in the forest and take some pictures. And you can still see the ocean down there if you would like to see the beach. And you could just look down there but be careful, don't fall. Okay guys, so if you like to eat or just go shopping, I really recommend you guys going to Main Street. Main Street is where you can find restaurants, clothes, and other fun things to do. But please, when you are crossing the streets, just don't go in the middle of the road and cause traffic and a big headache to the drivers and actually use the crosswalk. Thank you. 
I'm not sure if you guys would like to read while you're on your vacation, but if you love reading and you forgot to bring a book, or you would just like to explore the library, then go to Half Moon Bay Library. But right now it's closed, but you can also do a curbside pickup. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please guys, subscribe because this video took a lot of time making it. And credit goes to my brother because he wants it right here. He's telling me to give him some. So please subscribe, subscribe like this video, like this video. <laughs> and share with your friends. Actually guys, this took a lot of time making this video. So subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.